Hello everyone, and I'm excited to bring to you a Facebook update, which is going to be a game changer if you have a Facebook business page. We can now add links into our Facebook business page stories without having 10,000 followers or having to pay. Now I've previously done a video on this and it was quite complicated to get it, but now it is so easy and it is only available to do through your mobile device. So I'm gonna show you my mobile phone and show you all the options that you can do and then I am actually going to show you how to do it. Okay, so here I am on my Facebook business page on my mobile phone. So what you're gonna do first is you're going to click the icon of me, this one here, my face, and we're gonna click it to get access to my stories. And I'm gonna just jump through because I wanna show you this. You see on the screen at the moment, there is the learn more button at the bottom, and then there is a call now button at the bottom, and then there is a book now button at the bottom, and a get directions button, and a shop now button. Now all of those buttons are available on your Facebook business page stories without having to pay for an advert and without having to have 10,000 followers. So you don't need to have that many followers. I have 1,043 followers, likes and followers on my Facebook business page, Bommy Media, and I have these five options. You're not going to be using all of the options at the same time, but I'm gonna show you where they all go and what they all do. Okay, so let's look at the learn more button to start off with. So the learn more button can be clicked and it goes through to my own website. So we're gonna click the learn more button and there you go, it opens up inside of Facebook, my homepage of my website. Okay, then we're gonna to go to the call now button. Now the call now button, if you click it, it actually opens up my mobile number and it gives you the ability to call me direct from stories in Facebook. So that's a game changer if you have people calling you to make appointments and depending on what you're using the actual stories for, and we'll get onto that in a moment. So the next option is book now. So book now, so as you can see the button at the bottom, it disappears when I press and hold the story so that I can talk to you, but the book, get the book now button, if I click the book now button, it also opens up to my website, which is a URL. I just wanna show you all the options. Then you have the, the get directions button. Now the get directions button, it isn't opening up on my account because I don't have my physical address inside of my Facebook business account. But if you own a shop or if you own a restaurant or a cafe or any land-based um, shop, nightclub, restaurants, health club, gym, then the get directions is going to be really helpful for you guys because your clients are going to be able to go onto your story, see your story and get directions to your place. So if you've got a party or hosting an event, that would be the perfect place to pop it. Then the next one is Shop Now. This can be a game changer. When I click Shop Now, it takes me to my website. But if you own a shop and you sell products, then this is going to be a mega, mega, mega game changer for you. Now, I just wanted to come in and say to you that obviously, when you're using your Facebook business page stories, you are not going to be using all five options for buttons at the same time in the same story. You're going to be wanting to do a story of maybe between three and seven tiles or sections. Every one, every upload that you put into your story is a tile or a section and you're going to be wanting to do those strategically. To use these buttons with purpose, you're going to need to plan your stories out and then use the buttons accordingly. Okay, so I've jumped back into my mobile phone and I want to show you exactly how you can put one of these call to action buttons onto your Facebook business page story. Not your personal story, but your Facebook business page story. So we're here on my page. So we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna to go to the story section where it says your page is stories, add to story with the plus sign and view story. You have to do this in the add to story plus sign. If you go into your story and try and add a new tile or new section on, it won't work. So we're gonna to go to add to story. Then you're gonna take a picture of yourself 
or you're going to add a photograph of a product that you might have or um, you're going to put an event you're going to type in or you put a picture in a pre-prepared stories tile that you're going to put in there so we're just going to just take a picture for the purpose of this video and i'm going to just take a picture or a video i'm just going to take a quick video okay so this is the game changer that you see at the top right hand corner of my screen you see here where my mouse is there is a link button we're gonna click the link button and there you have your five interactive buttons that you can put onto your story so we're just going to get the um learn more button now it says learn more button is added now it isn't showing on my screen, but it will show on your viewers' screens. Now you could actually encourage people to click the button by adding some words. Click the button below to visit my website. You can change the writing. So you can change the writing up. You can change the font of it, the color. Let's go for pink, because I like pink. And we're going to put a bit of background behind it. So we're going to do that. I'm going to shrink it down. Now the button is going to sit just below that. And then you're going to click the plus sign at the bottom. Now you go to view your story and you wait for it to completely upload before you close it off anywhere else. So it's completely uploaded. Wait for it to completely upload. Okay. And then when you view it yourself, Let's just let it upload properly. Now, when you see, when we're viewing the story, you can see those three little buttons at the top right-hand corner. They give the, you the option to view your link. You see where it says view link. So if I click that, you can test that the link is actually working because inside of your own Facebook business page account, you can't see what your visitors are seeing. So the only way you can do that is by looking at your account from someone else's account. So there's the link going to my page. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just log out of here and I'm gonna show you where that link shows up. Okay, so we're inside of a different account looking at my account from the outside and here is the tile that I just did for you. So as you can see, it says click the button below to visit my website. It has the learn more button. I'm gonna click that now and it opens up into my website, formimedia.com. This new feature on Facebook is going to revolutionize the way we as entrepreneurs and small business owners use Facebook stories. If we can actually add a link, a clickable link to our stories without having to have 10,000 followers or without having to pay, we can use our stories strategically and with purpose to attract and connect with our ideal audience. Down there, please do subscribe to my channel. I will be bringing you the latest updates from Facebook and Instagram as they arrive inside your phone or onto your desktop.